So Zane, Saturday morning kickoff on BT Sport, just after an international break. No problem. No problem, Chelsea. Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers. Yeah. We are the risers. We're not the fallers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe and turn on that bell. Yeah. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to another edition of Burton Ballers. So Dane, what do I have to be worried about? In our preview video I say in Saturday games in the morning, BT Sport. Yeah, it's always a bit after tricky international after break. international breaks. But you know what? Yeah. No yeah, exactly. But you know what? Last time we played Leicester, this time last season, Frank Lampard was our manager when we played them at the uh, King, King Power Stadium. Yeah. Yeah, and they beat us. They don't, not beat us. They humiliated. Well, there was only two 0 It was a humiliation. And from that moment, I knew Frank Lampard was going to go because that they they just toyed with us that day. And they went top of the league. How things have changed now. <laughs> Chelsea are sitting hat and they're pretty on top of the league, and um, Leicester are the ones in a bit of trouble. And you know what I think may happen, Zane. Unluckily, Manchester United lost today. 4-1, humiliated by Watford. Though. Watford. So, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, unfortunately, won't be, up, be there probably when we play them next week. But anyway, let's get back to the review of the game. So, what do you think of the game, then, Zane? Um, I'm just clicked. We're just toying with them. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a, a, a immaculate performance, wasn't it? By, from everyone. Even Mendy, when called upon, made some brilliant saves, didn't he? Like there was like no trouble getting past our like they had so we couldn't really get past our midfield but when we did like the defense had it and when we got past the defense yeah the yeah and silver as well what a performance by silver rightly given man of the match this guy he's what thirty seven and you know what he just he makes the game look easy doesn't he. <laughs> It's not only the way he takes up his positions, but the way he pings the ball, the passes. He just does some delicious passes. Hasna Dwey, another great performance. I could go through the whole team. You know what I liked about Reese James's performance as well, Zane? It kind of reminded me of the way that Pep Guardiola, Guardiola uses his midfielders because his wingers, uh, sorry, wingers, his, 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 his wingbacks, or the, no, they don't play wingbacks, but they, his fullbacks, because he was play, dropping into midfield a lot, wasn't he? Moving into midfield. And he was, he's, he's just an all, all round footballer, isn't he? He's just a great footballer all round. And so it's, it's, it's the way that he moved in and effortlessly into the midfield. And when he did that, you had Shalabar playing on, on taking up the position as a, as a right back. So we're really flexible in possession. We outnumbered uh, Leicester in the, middle of the, in the middle of the park. Second half, Leicester came out. They, 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 they started quite well, didn't they, in the second half when they made their changes? Iniacha came on, they had a two up. And they sort of had more in their midfield. But, you know, that's when we called on Silver. I mean, not Silver. Yeah, Silver and the rest of the defence. And great saves by Mendy. Mendy. Yeah, so let's just go through the goals then. So the first goal was scored by, can you remember? Yeah. Who? Uh, Peter. <laughs> the last goal that was. The yeah. first goal. The first goal. And he scored well, oh, two. Joel. He scored two goals against them. Um, when... really got yes. Really and you know what, Dane? There's a great stat to know. 33% of Rudiger's goals against uh, for Chelsea have been against Leicester. So he scored... He loves scoring against Leicester. So he scored six... No, he scored nine goals. Yeah, and uh, three of them have been against Leicester. And all headers as well. Yeah. So, so yeah. So whenever we have a set piece against Leicester, Rudiger's a man. Um, and um, he scored a second. Can you remember he scored a second? Cool, no, it's Chilwell hit the post, didn't he, right at the beginning? Crossbar. At the crossbar. James. You can't remember he scored a second. Wait, don't tell me. Ex Leicester player. Oh, <laughs> what a goal by Kante. Oh, yeah, well, they went Brilliant nice. goal. Run and curling shot. I couldn't even believe it went in. I thought I had to pinch myself. Say, was that Kante? Was it even a goal? He, yeah, he always scores the most peculiar yeah. goals. I know. What a run and what a shot. Fantastic goal by Kante. And then. We had 
the two subs combined. I've got to mention Ziyech because I've been one of Ziyech's biggest critics. So, you know, you know what? I, I sort of critique him when he has a bad game, but you know what? I've got to applaud him today because he, he was excellent. He came on and he was brilliant. He was creative, inventive. And what the pass that he did with the, the, the first one where Pudisic, remember, with a, that deft pass and Pudisic had a shot just past the post. Yeah. But then um, he did it again where he just beat his player. He reminded me a bit of Mar like Mares. We just cut inside, passed the ball to Pulisic. Who I thought had miscontrolled it. Remember, we thought he miscontrolled it. Oh, yeah, we thought he took it extra touch. Yeah, extra touch. touch. And then it went in and he, he, he finishes off. His long legs finished it off. So, yeah. So, you know what? The only people who I didn't think played that well, I thought Mason Mount still trying to find his way back. He hasn't hit the heights of last season, I don't think, Mason Mount. He was a bit... He looks a bit jaded today, didn't he? Havertz, although his movement was quite good still, but I, I think he could have been a bit more livelier at times as well. But but he did okay. He did okay. Um, and that, that's good to see because, you know what, we've got such a strong depth of squad, haven't we? Because even without the likes of um, Lukaku and Werner, we're still doing, apart from the bit against Burnley last um, in the last match, but, you know, had we beaten Burnley now, uh, we'd have been... Ah... Uh, We'd have been what six points, seven points. We'd have had we'd have had a bit of daylight, you know. And so yeah, so you know what, you know, Leicester. I thought, I thought it was going to be a tricky game, especially the, the, the record that we've got of Leicester. We know four, four, two. No, 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 it's five, four, two. Isn't it? No, five, four, one. No, five, five two, three. Two. Five to two. No, we have to. I think, oh, five two. Oh, it one. could still be four four two actually. The last ten games, because I think the te that we won a game ten games ago, so it's still four four two. Unfortunately, but, um, and, four four two. <laughs> yeah, so fantastic weekend, guys! Brilliant weekend for Chelsea. Um, West Ham lost as well to Wolves, which is great. So um, they're what six points behind us now, and you know, hopefully. Arsenal, we're doing this at half time of the Arsenal match, so hopefully Arsenal can get back into the game. I doubt it, but you know, <laughs> miracles can happen. And yeah, Man City against Everton tomorrow, you know, so all good, all good. So, my only hope is that Manchester United don't sack Oli and we get a performance like the Watford one. Um, and yeah, happy days because we got them next week. So, let's onwards and upwards, guys. Keep the blue flag by And don't forget. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified when we make a video. Share this video and comment down below. Up the blues, keep it up, guys. Let's go. Bye.